My family have lived here a very long time. We have had reindeer herding over 400 years now. I am now the 10th generation, first woman <laughs> to doing this. The Notes and Lies are a magical show for us. I see it uh, in front of my house and here in the nature a lot. But every time when you see those, you are like, wow, every time still. When you see the northern lights, they are moving very fast and very beautifully. You can almost hear a little sound. It's a little bit like a fire sound when they are dancing. They are a very big part of our culture and they show us the power of the nature and the beauty of the nature. Northern Lights are known as nature's most beautiful color show. Every single night is individual, very, very unique. The aurora, of course, is a mysterious phenomenon. If you count all the stories by indigenous people around the Arctic region, you will find maybe 200 different explanations about Northern Lights. There's a very common story in Finland. Uh, it's like a fairy tale that actually the Northern Lights are made by a giant fox running on the snow. The common version is that the fox sees a tail, sparks fly off to make the northern lights. If you ask some older Finns, they said, if you visualize the lights, they get active. Our first all-sky cameras, which are the instruments for measuring or taking pictures of the auroras, we got them in 1927. So we know that at least 1927, first scientific, Image on Aurora were taken. After satellite era started at 1957, when we started having satellites measuring solar wind between Sun and Earth, only then we could understand that it is actually caused by extraterrestrial reasons, not something close to the surface of the Earth. The Northern Lights, they are created by the solar wind. So we get this constant stream of particles coming from the sun. And this solar wind then hits the Earth's magnetic field and gets guided along these magnetic field lines near the North and South Pole. The activity is mainly caused by geomagnetic storms. And geomagnetic storms are caused by eruptions coming from the sun. Occasionally we get these coronal mass ejections from the sun and when they hit the Earth's magnetic field then we get these very strong auroral displays. The different colors are created by the different molecules and atoms in the atmosphere. The green comes from the oxygen, but we can also see red and pink and blue and even yellow and these are mainly from the nitrogen. Auroras we can see in polar regions. So magnetic pole in the northern hemisphere is pretty much defining where we have the auroral oval. And in the southern hemisphere, the so oval locates pretty much at the same latitudes. We are seeing auroras also at other planets. The lights in our atmosphere on Earth are high up above our heads at 100 kilometers altitude, so we need to have cloudless, clear nights. We always have the normal quiet aurora somewhere. It might be very narrow, like five kilometers. If we have an eruption on sun's surface, the oval gets brighter, it gets uh, larger, it can be 1,000 kilometers wide. Solar activity has this about 11 year cycle. We had the last solar cycle peak here around 2014 and now we are on our way to the next maximum sunspot number. It will be this year or maybe next year. When we have more sunspots, we will have more of these solar flares and also these coronal mass ejections from these flares. And usually we get these strongest geomagnetic storms during the declining phase of the solar cycle. So the next few years will be the best time to see the aurora. During solar maximum you can see very, very nice auroras. But then, a few years after, you can see even more complex structures in auroras. The first thing 
I do when I wake up every morning, I check the weather forecast for the coming night. If it was easy to see the northern lights, I wouldn't have this job. It's basically my passion to hunt the northern lights and to take uh, cool photos of those uh, northern lights. The nights are getting dark enough for the northern lights early September already. And then it lasts until the second week of April usually. After that, the nights are getting too, too bright. I always get super excited. I have seen them like 200 times in my life. There's something uh, magical. Often it's just really calm, like arc on the northern sky. Sometimes it's running up in the sky, changing shape really fast. Aurora still fascinates me. All these colors and all these different phenomena. There are so many unanswered questions related to the aurora that there is scientific work needed for decades from now.